All right, we're live. We're live. We're live on the storm cam, people. I want you guys to pay, uh, well, tornado warnings down here just outside of New Orleans. See, this is the initiation point, guys. This is where, this is where the shit hits the fan hopefully hopefully not for some people but if you examine this feed you will see initiation beginning to occur along these lines here tornado warnings we've currently got three tornado act uh three active tornado warnings and there's been i believe over 20 tornadoes today in Alabama and Georgia, we're getting this second play. And this one right here, these ones coming up off the warm front are the ones that are concerning me because they're moving due north. And then they're starting to shift. And if you'll see the winds blowing them off at the anvil level, it's just having a hard time breaking through the cap. I mean, that's going to be it's going to be nighttime. You can see it. We switch sources here. These brighter colors, warmer colors right here indicate uh, the height of the storm. Let's get a weather cam, man.
there's that wow, look at this. It happened. All right, fellas, ladies, gentlemen, and uh, everything in between. You are live with Terry Tyler on Stormwire. So get ready to take a look. I'm just going to set you guys up right here for now. Uh, I'm going to set you guys up right here with the Doppler. And if you'll look, I like using the pool sometimes because what happens is you can see something like this little ghost feature, this ghostly feature that's right here blowing on shore. That's this warm front, and it's dragging these storms up with it, and they're blowing up along this line, and uh, this one here is looking mighty. These are some high and mighty storms. Uh, it's a real drag. We're not going to see him during the daylight. It, it does not look like it's 5 o'clock, but these are the ones that, that are uh, Simsport. This has been this little cluster I've been watching down here, just kind of fuzzying around. But if you can see in the radar... Those of you who've been watching radars for a while, I'm going to animate it so you can see the trends, how it's got that, you can see the striping, it's facing the shear, it's fighting it, and it's just, they're just staying here, and that's always a good sign, and this is where we are right now, so... Generally, I'll look at the first updrafts. When you're dealing with uh, when you're dealing with storms like this, especially in the nighttime, I don't generally do nighttime storm chases. I like to see the structure, but on a night like this, you'll definitely want to have a view. The lightning should be hopefully active. Uh, we've got Cape upwards of 2,500 joules. SCPs are up to eight. Twenty-five hundred. These ones come right out of that little tunnel. Uh, well, instability axis right there. These have done blown the cap. It's been a nice place to be right there in the Arquitex, but down this line, there's some funky stuff coming up. And uh, you'll see the helicity is a little stronger down here. And that's basically a function of uh, the storm level inflow. For a layman, it's basically for the zero to three kilometers of the atmosphere, the streamwise vorticity that can be ingested into a thunderstorm's tower. Now, there's some new products here. Some of you might not have seen. There's Sherby. Sea wasp, Oper, and uh, some conditional probabilities. These are new, and it's what it's going to do is going to give you a bunch of numbers of your percentages. Believe it or not, up here we're looking at 15s, 21s, where these storms are, but down in my area, 27s. Nothing's formed yet, and you know how that goes.
or you have two probs. We've got a 10 there and a 10 there. Hattiesburg probably still reeling. A tornado hit here yesterday, or actually this morning. And these ones here, we're going to give them time to simmer because I predict that these are going to be real players here. Unfortunately, it's going to be a nighttime ride, and uh, it's going to get a little scary. Yeah, it's coming right for us, basically. This is going to be one of those ones where the goal here See if there's any new MDs issued I'm on Facebook right here. And uh, oh, we need to do a uh, All products. And what we're going to do is we're going to initiate Helicity Swaths. We're going to switch our sector view southeast. No mercy. We're allied against the storm. If you happen to be in this area, could get dangerous later. Now, if you look at this run, you'll see it looks a whole lot tamer. This is a lot more tame than the 21Z run. The 21Z run Puts one flying through here. The 20Z run. I think that was the one I was referring to. Yeah, 20Z won't run. Didn't look as good as the 19Z. Which, for those of you who do not know... What this is, this product is called the 2 to 5 Updraft Felicity Swath. And it basically shows your tracks of would be supercells or storms. Basically, the helicity that we saw earlier is converted into the storm updraft. This is the actual pull into the updraft. I'm sure those of you that have a more advanced degree in meteorology could 
elaborate, please do chat in the chat room. These are just the potential swaths and tracks of where these storms are expected to form. And as you can see, I mean, it, it, it changes with time. So let's get down here to the real time. It's 520. We've got twins. This one's about 32,000. bit of rotation you can see southwest of Woodside weak and broad we need to plug this thing in for a minute maybe crank the car or you think they'll let me uh we'll make an ask them if they'll let me in Now we have a situation here with the battery. It's one of those calm before the storm moments. I mean, that's them. And I do predict these ones to do something. Uh, be foolhardy to just uh, jet. I mean, this is this is where you want to be. chat room right now. All right, guys, the captain's going to go ahead and take a break. See if I can't uh, hang out in here for a bit. Well, that's for bad.